afternoon, everybody. Did you know that according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, over 2 million recorded work injuries occurred in 2016? As employees, we oversee that all procedures that are followed to prevent these injuries from happening. As a manager myself, I have seen many injuries and instances where it could have been avoided if the employee had followed the correct procedures. Um, DOC Hospital is a place where we practice safe procedures and protocol to ensure the safety and health for all of our employees. Um, okay, so today I'm going to discuss why workplace safety is important how to prevent injuries from occurring, and what to do if an injury does occur. So as discussed by Amy May, by committing to safety first, we advance our goals for quality, cost, and schedule. Less distractions provide a more efficient working environment for everyone. Um, clean work environment equals a good quality. So employees will focus more on their quality of work and doing their job correctly rather than cleaning their work environment and having a distraction. Um, injuries also do cause distractions within themselves. So if an injury does occur, everybody just talks about uh, what happened or what's going to happen instead of actually focusing on their job at hand. So um, safety reduces injury and business costs. Uh, if an injury does occur, workman's comp, lost hours, insurance, rates, being sued, all of those are costly to the business if an injury does occur and that employee does um, file for workman's comp or anything like that. Um, quality is also reduced within, within the product or the, the quality of work at hand because we are so that causes lower customer satisfaction, which means we aren't getting the money in that we should be getting. Um, now that we've discussed why safety is important, let's talk about how to prevent these injuries from occurring. So um, as Amy May says, um, all incidents injuries and workplace illnesses are preventable and also discussed by the Vermont Department of Labor by training, enforcing, and rewarding injuries can be prevented. So to start off, the proper training is very important. As all employees, new employees are coming into a workplace, they need to be trained in their specific area of work, what the correct procedures are and what the correct pro protocol is to be followed for that specific job. Uh, we're also going to be doing training courses throughout the shifts um, every month, every couple months. We're going to be sending all of these employees to do a training course to recap their memory on everything that they might have forgotten about safety. Um, second, we're going to start enforcing job safety a lot in the workplace. So supervisors are going to be going around more often making sure that all of their employees are following procedures and protocol and helping to prevent these injuries. Um, Write-ups are also going to be given out if employees do not follow procedures and protocol that the business does have. Um, lastly, we're going to start rewarding you guys. Uh, praises, coupons, gift certificates, all of that's going to be um, starting to give it give out in order to keep you guys on that safety track. So now that we've discussed how to prevent injuries, uh, sometimes they do occur, so let's talk about what to do if an injury at the workplace does occur. So right away, the first thing that you need to do is report it to a supervisor and fill out an incident report. Um, if a report is not on file and an injury does get worse, you will not be able to receive workman's comp, which is very important. Um, Second, if you are injured extremely bad, workman's comp form, you need to fill it out because if you don't, like I said, you will not get workman's comp and that's a problem. So um, as explained by Bridget Diamond, seek compensation from the CICA if that's necessary, if it was criminally happened or etc. Um, also, if you're unhappy with your results, you may proceed to legal action as into suing the company if you need to, 
um, if you're not happy with the workman's comp or something happened on the fault of the company, you may file for a lawsuit, but it's costly and it does take time. Okay, so um, in conclusion, Doc Hospital hopes to practice safe procedures protocol and protocol to ensure the safety and health of all of its employees by knowing why workplace safety is important, how to prevent injuries, and also what to do if an injury occurs. These are all factors that help increase worker safety in the workplace. Um, I hope by following all of these procedures, we can keep DOC a safe, fun work environment for everybody. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you.